Welcome to Introduction to Game Design. In this presentation, we will discuss the basics of game design, including the process of and what it means to create a digital game. Let's take a moment to visualize what making a digital game looks like. Does it require a lot of planning? Are large teams of experts needed to build a game? Is this a simple and straightforward process, or does it take many months to plan and complete? The answer to all these questions is a resounding yes. The truth is that when it comes to game design, the worlds that you can create are pretty much endless. This means that the intricacies such as the size of your design team or the length of your build out process are only bound by the types of games you'd like to build and the limits of your imagination. So as you can imagine, there are many components necessary to building a game. However, we can begin with the very definition of game design. We can start off by acknowledging the term game development and game design. Quite often, the two are used interchangeably. However, it's important to note that they are very different. The term game design concerns the conceptual aspect of creating a game. This starts at the very beginning of the build out process and includes figuring out how the game will flow as the player interacts with it, creating the storyline, and putting together all of the components relating to the senses, such as the visual graphics, the moving of objects, and audio effects. Alternatively, the term game development concerns the technical aspect of creating a game. Here is where all of the objectives established by the game designers are put into action. This involves the creation of code to bring the game to life, as well as fixing the glitches and bugs that may occur. So where do we begin? As you would imagine, the process of learning how to create a game from the beginning to end can be a huge undertaking. In order to develop a game, one would need to learn and become proficient in at least one of the many programming languages and frameworks that lend to the development of a game. However, the purpose of this course is to introduce you to the very fundamentals of game design, where hopefully you will be able to take the knowledge acquired and apply it toward your journey of a game development education in the future. So let's take a deeper look at designing a game. The success of a game is dependent upon the blending of all three skills. However, the allocation of time and focus placed on each of the components is entirely up to the designer and the overall goal of the game. While there are many ways to develop a game, no one can argue with the use of strong fundamentals. Game development can be broken down into three main parts including solid code or scripting, graphics, and a storyline. While code is either non-existing or kept to a minimum in the design process, designers can benefit tremendously from learning how to do so in order to have a holistic understanding of the game they are creating. For example, let's take a look at the following games called Among Us and Spider-Man. At first glance, the two games couldn't be more different. The graphics of Among Us are clean and make use of primary and secondary colors, while Spider-Man, Miles Morales, provides extensive detail and depth. The first is a multiplayer game and is available through mobile apps, while the other is a single player and available through newer PlayStation consoles. On the other hand, they have more in common than you think. They both possess engaging storylines, including smooth scene transitions, have won awards for product design, and are well received among different cultures and age groups. This is all evident in their recognition from TGA and BAFTA, none of which would have been possible without a solid trio of code, graphics, and a storyline. One of the best methods of gaining exposure to game code or script is by choosing to create your own game with the assistance of a game engine. A game engine is a very helpful editing platform that is designed for the creation and development of video games. It holds all of the logic, scenes, and components needed for the game. You can think of this tool as the word processor to an author's book. Theoretically, the process begins with the author opening a word processor to create their story. Here, they're able to write out their story, create chapters, change font, format the text, and make all changes that are necessary to get their story just right. Once it's complete, the final draft will be submitted to be published. This concept is very similar to the game designer's process. 
A game engine provides the designer the same assistance that a word processor would, allowing them to create, design, and visualize the product before it's officially released as a game. Both are editing frameworks that assist the creator in the construction of their masterpiece. Now that you've learned about the meaning of game design, it's time to explore further into the industry to learn about its history and what it looks like in the real world.